Hey guys, it's Lily404, and as you can see, we've just unlocked some new galaxies. And it's, I'm powered up my car, and as Lily404 said, we've got some new galaxies to explore. So we're going to start with the Spin Dig Galaxy, Dig a Legs Planet. And it looks like we've got a new item. But we're going to find, and some new enemies. But we're going to all see that in just a moment. Now, Spin Dig Galaxy, the main feature of it is pretty easy to figure out the spin drill. Now the spin drill is a pretty unique power up. Shake the weird mode to drill. You gotta admit, I think that's pretty cool. Now you just drill through the designated area and boom, pretty easy. Ah, how did you get up here? Keep an eye out for other Lumas ahead. And whoosh. It must be fun gliding through the sky. You think it looks like fun, really? Is sure it does. Cool? Now we're just gonna do our spin. There's a, the whole idea of this galaxy is a spin and drilling, which I think is a pretty cool concept if you ask me. But we're just gonna have to go down here to get the one important thing, the comet metal. Trust us, you're gonna need it. Now going back, we're gonna drill through that second stack of dirt. Cause that's what it looks like, don't you think? Yeah. Ah! Now we're gonna talk to this Luma. And looks like the Lumas have set up a nice little team to help us. Oh yeah. Player two, stop an enemy. Now, player two, Lily just grabbed us a one-up. And one thing I have to mention is, when we recorded this, we recorded several episodes together. Wait up! Wait up! Sorry to keep you waiting. Now for this planet, this planet, well let's just say has a pretty good secret hidden in it. Sure you've got some star bits and a Goomba here or there, but once you drill through it, you get the coins. You pretty much hit the coin jackpot. It's a very helpful and convenient. Yeah, this is one of those you could easily get over 50 coins in this playthrough. Now we're on one of the toad chips. Gah! It's you, Mario, right? It's called our Star Shroom. And that's Captain Toad we're introduced to. Yes, that's Captain Toad from Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. He's the leader of the Toad Brigade. And then we're introduced to this pretty creepy boss. <sighs> Dig a leg. Yeah, and... Dig a leg can spit out enemies, and at the right moment, you gotta use your spindle to break through that glass barrier where our power star is. And dig a leg! Well, believe me. Jeez! Dig a leg, yeah, pretty creepy if you ask me. And you gotta be quick here, because dig a leg likes to bounce around. See, Lily? Oh, yeah. And then Diggleg will start spitting out more and more enemies and start bouncing faster. Trust me, you do not want to get hit. And you don't want to miss your chance to get the star. Uh-uh. Unfortunately, I did. And if you missed a chance, you're going to have to wait for everything to cycle through again. And I ended up missing. But after another cycle, I we finally break through and... Boom! Yeah. Digalegs drilling days are one thing, Lily. Mm -hmm. Over. Now we can get our star. And we defeated another boss, but to give a heads up, we do have a lot of bosses. And look at that! More galaxies! Now Lava brought one of his friends back. And it's the Toad Brigade! With Captain Toad and a Luma. And if you ever want to visit it, we can go on that warp pad. Oh, yeah. So now we're going to be paying them a little visit. And here we are in the new little planet pad. It's the Starshoom. Your friends wanted to help find a from Power Star, so we Lumas helped build this ship. Now we're going back to the Spindy Galaxy to collect some silver stars. Now silver stars are a pretty major element. They're a lot like regular power stars, but 
Well, you'll find out you know, shortly that you're gonna need five of them. Careful! And now, chased by cosmic clones. Lily, we've beaten this game before. You and I both know how annoying they can get, right? Oh, yeah. And now we can get a vine. Now we're in this new planet. And now we are going to have to do our drilling skills. And we don't have to go down that dead end to get the coin. But then there's another trap. And you do... And I found out the hard way that that coin is pretty much luring you in. Because it's just a trap. Now on our way back down. One nice thing is with CoStar, they can freeze enemies and collect coins. That might not be easy to reach. Yeah, that's my job. CoStar, it pretty much is like a whole new game experience. And trust me, with freezing the amps, it'll save you time. And right there, I, I barely missed it. Which I'm pretty happy I didn't get zapped. Yeah. Now it's time to go blasting through the sky. Now those crystals, we'll see them a bit later in the map, not in a level. Stars sparkle. Oh, and it's the blue toad. According to mine in Gestation, there are silver stars. If you collect five, you'll get a power star. There's a little hint for you. Oh, yeah. Now, here you're going to have to find a spin drill to get inside. Now, this is kind of like a maze for the most part. You just have to find your way to navigate. Luckily, it's not that hard to figure out. Nope. There are different sections where the silver stars are hiding. Now, that Goomba is conveniently placed because with a spin drill, you cannot get up there easily. But the Goombas there and getting hit, you'll lose your spin drill and no, oh, that's a semi convenience. Now going off to the left side, we get a few coins. Barely get hit by that drill enemy. Don't miss that silver star off to the side. And boom, we got our fifth silver star and now a power star. Yeah. Silver Stars will be a reoccurring theme. Now back down and up, we can reach our first Silver Star. Power Star, I guess. Heading the Starship Mario, we're in the item room. Just don't go digging through the center of your spaceship. Might get a headache, har har. Yeah, those are the rules. And it looks like we've got a hungry Luma. Those guys really like their star bits. Hey you, got any tasty star bits? I need 300 star bits. Luckily, we have more than enough. That's the stuff oh so full. Transform! It's really interesting how Lumas can just transform in the new galaxies. Yeah. And that crystal thing you see on the map, I'm going to introduce it next after this level. Flip Swap Galaxy. Think before you shake. Then we have a new gameplay mechanic. The flip panels. Yep. Now, you're going to have to navigate this pretty basic level, but you're going to have to shake, jump, spin, make them flip. Yes, and by now, if you haven't figured it out, you're going to have to use the spin jump. And yeah. if you don't know how to do the spin jump at this point, it's kind of shocking. Yeah. But after this, I kind of mentioned this earlier in a previous video like then the that blue star bunny is going to come on starship mario and they're going to give you an explanation on how to do a spin jump but i cut it out because really this far in the game i don't th think we exactly need one of those stop the chomps player two and there are chain chomps and yep a tiny orange star can stop a jump one like that they having star bits because Trust us, you're going to need them later on. They're helpful. You're going to have to do a bunch of careful jumps. But most of the time, if you got CoStar, oh, yeah. it makes it easier. Mm -hmm. Now, the green stars here are a little tricky, but we're not going to get to the green stars until much later. 
pretty straightforward level. The star's right there, no strings attached. One quick long jump and... We made it! Yep, another star in our hands. Woohoo! Now, it looks like Lubba has a guest. And it's Banktoad. He's collecting star bits for us. Well, guess what? I decided to become a banker. If you, I can share your star bits with other players with more save files. Right now, I have 9999. 9,999 star bits and all. Would you like to make a deposit or withdrawal? Now, I'm going to make a withdrawal. Because, trust us, we already have more than enough star bits. The thing is, we've beaten this game several times before. And that crystal thing on the world map, you can get star bits. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to the right side down galaxy. And the whole gimmick is, well, changing gravity. But like I was saying with the bank toad... If you have Star Bits and other save files, I think they'll be transferred over. And while it makes the game much easier, and literally on our original save file, we literally have maxed out Star Bits. 9,999 on our hand, oh. and then every th and the bank completely filled up. And now our video clip is lagging on our end. Yep, and my cursor is... Going crazy, like, trying to collect every single thing we find. This switch, hmm. Ground pound on that switch, we get a chunk of coins. Yep. Now, one thing with this level here, there's a lot, and I mean a lot of coins. Oh, yeah. You got it, as Toad just said. That green warp pipe you just saw, it's going to come by in the next episode, and the next episode's going to be a little shorter. Now, here, as you just see, the gravity can change. And we also got a boatload of coins. Yep. Could break 100 coins, but I haven't tested. Because I know, Lily, we got close. We sure did. But this isn't a Mario 64 or Sunshine where 100 coins gets you a star. Now, you don't want to get crushed by that giant piranha plant. Nope. But it is fun to literally smush it and get a boatload of star bits. This galaxy is very generous with coins. So if oh. you ever want to grind on coins, I think this is your place. Mm -hmm. But grinding for star bits, I think there's another galaxy that's good for that. Oh, yeah. And with uh, Don't Fall Down. Now with some more gravity changing switches. And you do not want to get crushed by that dude. But you'll That's still get his coin, which is pretty nice. Now, the one tricky part here is, well, the Comet Metal. You have to do a couple skilled wall jumps to get up there. And anyways, you, gotta, you do not want to get smushed by the thwomps. Or else you're crushed. And it's not like Mario 64 where you lose a few pieces of health. You get your instant, instantly killed. And fire Mario's back. Just shake the weird mode and shoot fireballs. Hmm. Yeah. Now this one you can pretty much shoot unlimited fireballs for a limited amount of time. But I, you gotta admit, the gravity changing aspect of this galaxy is pretty unique. Now, there's another galaxy like this coming up later on. Mm -hmm. And we're already at 75 coins. And just for fun, Lily and I, we tried to get as many coins as we could. Even star bits. Mm -hmm. Because the coins are good for one-ups. And the star bits, well, you're going to need them for future. For the future. Yeah, the game wants you to grind on star bits. And well, we made it to the star. Now we're just going to end it off here. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you in the next video, and bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.